Hi and welcome to the Tyler's Tools video channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you a few checks that you can make on your diamond blades to make sure that they're safe and also how to dress those blades to keep those diamonds bright when you're cutting porcelain and hard materials. So the process for doing the checks is exactly the same on both the Zoe and the Picus machines. I'm going to do the process on the Picus because this machine is set up to do some cuts, it's filled with water and uh, that will allow me to show you how to dress the blade with the dressing stone and with some sandstone, not Indian stone, sandstone, a very abrasive material. One of the main problems we get asked here at Tyler's Tools is why is the saw cutting out of line? 99 times out of 100, it's because you're not looking after the blade or the blade is spent or it's been overworked on the porcelain. Porcelain is an extremely hard material and diamonds are the hardest known thing to man. So there's a scale called the most scale and a diamond would be 10 and porcelain can be as much as eight and a half. So you're trying to cut something that's almost as hard as the diamond itself. So it's very important that you keep on top of the blades by dressing them very, very regularly. The matrix on the blade is a soft metal. This houses the diamonds and the soft metal can get wrapped around those diamonds and create a poor cut or a poor performing blade. The blade also has to be kept very cool that's why these saws deliver a great amount of water. On the other hand, if you were cutting a soft material, then the matrix would need to be a hard metal. So, what I'm going to do now is show you things to look for on the blade, the signs of fatigue and damage, and then also we're going to show you how to dress the blade moving forward. So, Safety first, always make sure the saw is unplugged before doing any work around the motor or the blade. So then what we're going to do is we're going to slow, slowly turn the blade and look for any fractures or cracks in there. If you've got any fractures or cracks, the blade must not be used. What it means is you've run the blade too hot and it's created a fracture in the actual blade itself, in the, in the metal structure. Do not use it if there is a fracture. Secondly, you want to look at the leading edge. This is the bit that does the cutting. And if you feel that, if it's rounded up, then you know you've got a serious amount of dressing up to do. But if you dress the blade after every cut, every couple of cuts, you'll keep those diamonds nice and bright and the metal will not glaze over those diamonds. So to dress a blade, you can use one of two pieces of equipment. I say equipment, this isn't. This is a purpose-made dressing stone. It's an aluminium oxide. You can probably see the sparkly bits in there. And it's in a resin block. <clears throat> the other thing I use quite regularly is just a simple piece of soft sandstone. Not Indian stone, soft sandstone. This is very abrasive against the matrix of the blade and to perform the dressing all we do switch on the machine we do a couple of cuts and using the sandstone that's enough to liven the blade up. Or alternatively, with the synthetic dressing stone, again, we switch the machine on and just do a couple of small slices. Into the block. And then I'll just show you how 
weld that stress to the blade. And it glides comfortably through the porcelain with a super cut.